Hello boys and girls, I think you all remember me from that Fallon Shout video that I did for this channel back in December. But today I'll be talking to you about my predictions for the 2020 Ladbrook Starts Masters today on High Roller Radio. However, sport has been in a bit of mourning because of the passing of Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball players ever to grace the game. I'm not a fan of basketball myself, but I knew who Kobe was. I knew what a great player he was, and I also know what legacy he left on the game. So a very sad day for basketball, and also a sad day for sport in general. But his legacy will never be forgotten, and he, he will be remembered in the basketball industry forever. But we must move on, because this week it's the first darts tournament since the World Championships. It's the 2020 Ladbrook Starts Masters, which contains 16, the top 16 players of the PDC Order of Merit, and it'll take place at the Marshall Arena in Milton Keynes. So, without further ado, here are my first round predictions. Right, we're going to begin with Friday night's action, and the first match on Friday night is Michael Smith against Mencius Solovich. Both players will be feeling very refreshed after a long break, Due to their early exits of the World Championship this year. Who do I think is going to win? I'm going to go for Mencius Sulevich. Because he's mentally stronger than Michael Smith. And he also has a winning head-to-head -head record against Michael Smith. These two did meet at the Masters in 2018. Which Mencius Sulevich won by 10 legs to 8. So I'm going to go for a Mensa win. But this time by 10 legs to 7. Second match of the night is Nathan Aspinall against James Wade, which is the, the tie of the first round, in my opinion. Both players had an excellent 2019, with Nathan Aspinall winning the UK Open and the US Darts Masters, and James Wade winning five Pro Tour titles. So I think it will go the full 19 legs that match, but I'm going to go for Nathan Aspinall to win it in a decider. 10-9 the Asp. Third match of the night on Friday is Michael Van Gerwen against Johnny Clayton. Michael Van Gerwen would be disappointed not to have retained his world title, but he was very gracious in defeat, and he accepted what a brilliant performance Peter Wright put in, who was just too out who was just too good for him on that New Year's Day night. But normally with Van Gerwen, he puts disappointment behind him, and uh, what better tournament to do that at the mass at the Masters? where he's won it five times in a row and still hasn't lost on the Milton Keynes stage. He faces Johnny Clayton, who, who they played each other last year. And I think Michael Van Gerwen will win again. Uh, Johnny Clayton's a good player. He did beat Van Gerwen one time. I was in the Grand Slam. But I am going to go for Van Gerwen to win it 10-5 like he did last year. Final match on Saturday night is Rob Cross against Adrian Lewis. That's going to be a very interesting match. Rob Cross uh, won the European Championship and the World Match Play, so he's he's been in a bit of confident form after a dismal 2018. Adrian Lewis ha has, improved, has improved a bit, but he's still not his full self. Okay, he got some important results last year. I did show signs of good form, but he's still, still not at his capability. I think Lewis will test cross, but I'm going to go for a voltage victory by 10 legs to 6. Right, we're going to go into Saturday night's action now. And the first match on Saturday night is Darrell Gurney against Dave Chisnell. Darrell Gurney had an inconsistent 2019, but he did have some highs. He did reach the European Championship and the World Match Base semi-finals, which the latter he should have beaten Rob Cross. He, he did reach the final, the Melbourne Darts Masters on the World Series, where he lost to Van Gerwen. But he did win a Euro Tour title, which he beat uh, Ricky Evans in the final. Dave Chisnell, however, did have an excellent end to 2019. Ever since he changed darts to Harrow's, he's looked like a player that's back to his best, reaching finals of the Grand Prix and the Gibraltar Darts Trophy. These two did meet at the first round last year, where Dave Chisnell... Came from 6-2 down to win 10-8. And I'm going to go for a Dave Chisnell win again. Because I think he's been the better player of the two. 10-4. Chizzy. 
Second match on Saturday night is Gary Anderson against Ian White. Gary Anderson had a trouble 2019 with, with back problems, which he had to withdraw from this tournament last year because of it. But it will be a tough test for Gary and Ian White, who is a very strong player and who also broke his semi-final curse at Minehead this year. The game won't suit Gary because Ian White's not a fast player, but I think it'll be a close one. But I'm going to go for Anderson to pip it. 10-8 to the Flying Scotsman. Third match of the night is Peter Wright against Joe Cullen. Peter Wright, of course, the newly crowned world champion, deservedly crowned the new, uh, the new world champion after his brilliant performance against Van Gerwen in the final. I thought he would struggle, but boy, he proved me wrong. Fantastic performance throughout, and there was nothing that Van Gerwen could do about it. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer bloke. Peter Wright, been a great player for years, and to win that world title at nearly 50 years old was a big, big moment in his career. He faces Joe Cullen. Cullen did win a Euro Tour this year, but I'm going to go for Peter Wright to win it because I think he's got that momentum on his back. But will he handle the pressure as world champion? Hopefully he will. He does have a winning head-to-head -head record against Cullen, a big winning head-to-head -head record. And I'm going to go for a Peter Wright win quite comfortably, 10-4. Final match of the night on Saturday is Gerwin Price against Simon Whitlock. Gerwin Price had a brilliant year in 2019. But again, the antics and his behaviour is still under question by the fans, particularly that World Championship, where despite a run to the semi-finals, his mouth, his mouth let him down. He should have kept his mouth shut. He should have let his darts do the talking. And Peter Wright did give him the justice he deserved. But I think he will be too strong for Whitlock, who Price accused him for slowing him down. But I don't think Whitlock's good enough to test Price. Okay, head-to-head -head record is tight. But I'm going to go for a comfortable win for Gurin Price. Ten legs to three. And finally, to close this video off, I'm going to tell you about my tips for the Masters. I fancy Nathan Aspinall and Dave Chisnell to have good runs each. But if Dave Chisnell's going to win the title, he needs to perform well in every match. Another one who I think is going to have a good run is Gurin Price. As long as he doesn't accuse 500 other opponents, uh, accuse players of slowing him down, and also boasting he's going to win every game 10 or 11 nil. Oh, and please Gurin Price, please shake people's hand, and please be great, gracious in defeat even if you lose. Otherwise... The haters will continue to hate. Thank you. Right, rant over. Two people who I think is going to win the title. One is Peter Wright because he's the world champion and he's got the momentum on his back. But the one I'm going for to win it is Michael Van Gerwen for a sixth consecutive time because he's never lost on the stage and I can't see that and I can't see him losing this year. He's won the last four Premier Leagues. He's won the last five Masters. And that shows you, with you that he can still compete with the top elite in the world. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you like it. Hit like, hit subscribe on High Roller Radio. Fantastic, uh, fantastic YouTuber. And yeah, I will be back with another video very soon. Cheerio.